You don't drink coffee? No. Nope. Are you kidding? You don't drink coffee? Nope. I've had two cups of coffee in my whole life. Do you ever hear that joke that they say psychopaths drink their coffee black? Uh, no, but it maybe it makes sense. I don't know. I think actual psychopaths don't drink coffee. Well, if you're not good at sleeping to start, like if you have a hard time falling asleep, the idea of drinking something that keeps you awake, why would you do it? Yeah, but you drink it early. Like I can't drink coffee after two in the afternoon. Mm. But then what's the good, you know? Oh, you just in get the morning, addicted no. and you need well, it to wake up and you're never going to be able to wake up without coffee again. Okay, we're here with Lauren Truman <laughs> from Wilbur Law Offices that where I see you every day. Almost every day. Almost every day. Yeah. And you, you, uh, you're of assistance to me many times. True, over the years. But today we're talking about... The infamous, and this isn't what you think. It's not about the double. In New Brunswick, all residents who own houses, we pay it. I, I guess it's a double tax, but actually, they kind of word it differently, don't they, the province? Yeah. every If you own property in New Brunswick, you get taxed, essentially, on the ownership. A lot. Quite a bit, yeah. Depending on where in New Brunswick you live, the rate's different. So a city is usually higher than a town or a village or an unincorporated place. But compared to the rest of the Canada, we have a huge property tax bill. Yeah. But if you live in the house... It's in half. Or they, it's less. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? They bill you... That's not what the topic is about. We're going to talk about uh, ta property taxes and how it all happens on the closing day. Yeah. But here, what we're talking about right now for a second is they bill it as you get a credit for the house you live in. That's right. But actually, it's just normal, and they double tax you on your rentals, cottages, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can argue the semantics, but essentially, <laughs> the house that you live in as your primary residence is taxed at a lower rate than any other property you own. And they call it a credit. Yes, and they call it a credit. It's not really credit, but that's not what we're here. No. Because I buy and sell property. How many, like, how many would I go through in a month, just me personally? Buying and selling? Yeah. Let's say... 10 average, 10. yeah. And it's too much. I'm over my head. I'm selling off everything. You know I'm... Um, yeah. And it causes so many problems. Too I'm, much property taxes, obviously. Yes. That's and, what it comes down and to. And problems. So yeah. I'm downsizing. We're getting there. But it's always so confusing. And I hope you can help. I hope so. When I And everybody else who's ever bought or sold a house... Yeah. When they bill me for the property tax... So sometimes a lawyer comes in, I go sit with you guys, well, we charged you 6000 and then we got this from the, the buyer, and then we credited it here. Can you explain all of that? Yeah. So basically think of it as if you pay a certain amount every day that you own a property. So just to make it simple, let's say your property taxes for a year are $365. That means every day you own the property, you owe the province a dollar, right? Okay. Okay, makes sense? Yes. Calendar year, everyone knows, goes from January 1st to December 31st. But your property tax bill comes out in March. So you've lived, if you've owned the property since January 1st, you've lived in the property for three months, essentially, without a property tax bill coming out yet. So if you get your bill in March and you pay it right away, that means that your property taxes are paid until December 31st. Okay. But nobody buys, or very few people buy a house on January 1st, right? Not a common closing date. So that means if we don't, as your lawyer, uh, adjust for the fact that either you're selling your house and you've paid for the property taxes for the whole year, but you're not going to own it after the closing day, or if you're buying a house, if we don't adjust for the fact that someone else has paid your property taxes for the rest of the year, and they're not going to own it anymore, it means somebody's going to have paid for the property taxes for the days that they don't own the property. Okay, so, so if I buy it, I got two questions now. Sure. If I buy it July 30th, is that, is that halfway through the month, year, July? Yeah, pretty close. So if I bought it July 30th right. and the tax bill is $1,000. Right. I'm paying 500, 500 The buyer's paying 500 Right. But that's not how it shows up on my transaction sheets with the lawyer. Yeah. I paid 1000 Right. So then it gets confusing and people don't understand why, you know, why am I getting an adjustment for something? Why did I, I didn't pay $1,000? Yeah, I didn't live in the house the first six months. Why should I have to have any adjustment for taxes but the reason is because you're going to own that house for the rest of the year 
So the rest of those days out of the 365 day long year, you're responsible for those property taxes because you're the one who's going to own the property. And am I correct that two people, you can't send a check from two people to pay the property taxes for the year? No, not. And if, let's say theoretically, someone was paying property taxes in installments, which people do now, right? They pay them each month. They divide your property tax bill by 12 months and you pay one twelfth of the bill every month. If you're doing it that way, there may not be a property tax adjustment at all if you're closing the deal on uh, either the last day of a month or the first day of the month. You can kind of get around because there hasn't been any prepayment for the days that you don't own and you'll just stop paying as soon as you stop owning the property. So one person has to pay the lump taxes Basically. So I'm going to pay, you're buying the house for me. Yeah. I'm going to pay for the The whole year. year. Then you're going to pay me back for half. Right. Basically. So that's where people get confused. Yeah. And the number, everybody's property taxes are different. So some people will come in saying, well, I thought, you know, my buddy bought a house and his adjustment for half the year was 300 bucks. Why is mine 2000? Well, your house gets taxed at a higher rate than this person's house. You got a nicer house than your buddy. Yeah, than your buddy. So (laughs) you got to pay more taxes. Yeah. (laughs) I'm joking. So that's how it, it, so one person telling you how it went for them could have nothing to do with. If you're buying a house from someone who, let's say, has not paid taxes for the whole year, Mm -hmm. they're outstanding. Uh, Let's say there's $500 owing on the property tax bill. What's going to happen is your lawyer will pay those property taxes before they transfer the house into your name. Yes. And they're going to take the half of those property taxes, let's say, that the seller owes if you're buying halfway through the year. And they're going to take that from the proceeds that the seller would have gotten. So you'll actually have paid slightly less for the house. They'll get less proceeds. They'll get less, but they're yeah. paid off. Because they're they, paid off. So yeah. the lawyer owes me a hundred thousand. Right. But they said, Rob, we we can't give you the hundred thousand because we actually had to pay the property taxes off right. that were in your name before we transferred it. Right. And those were five hundred dollars. So here's ninety nine thousand five hundred dollars. Right. So on the other side of the coin, if you're selling a house and you think I'm not gonna pay my property taxes because I'll just pass off that debt to the person buying my house. That doesn't happen. Doesn't work that way. You can't get out of property taxes, so. And sometimes it works out that if I prepaid my taxes. Right. And then I sold my house for 100,000, the lawyer's now gonna give me a check for $100,900 because you're paying me back for the days you're living in the house by the day. Right. But it's very confusing on the lawyer sheet. And even no matter how many times you try to explain it, it's always confusing because the bills don't come out the first of the year. Well, that, I want to get into that in a second because that drives me crazy yeah. too. That's another thing. Right. So but, you can, on paper, it will look like you're behind on your taxes, right? Like, but you're not. You haven't even gotten the bill yet. Well, let's not get but, into that yet. Okay. Let's get into, and I'm not trying to, uh, I don't want you to, you're, you're a lawyer. I don't want to. Yeah. But for my brain, right. we got we got to tackle. So One nobody, piece. when they buy a house or sell a house in New Brunswick, right. is paying more property tax than the actual day they own the house. Right. No matter what the sheets say or show. Right. So if we go back to our example that your property taxes are $365 a year. So a dollar a day is what you're paying in tax to own that house. Let's say you sell your house on the 200th day of the year. That means that the buyer will need to kick in $165 mm-hmm. to cover their portion of the taxes for the rest of the year. And you'll only be responsible for the $200 for the 200 days that you own the property. So if you've prepaid that $365, you as the seller are going to get a credit of $165 to refund you, essentially, for the days that you paid the property taxes that you're going to go live somewhere else. You're moving. So uh, I own it for, you pay for six months, I pay for six months. Right. July 30th, we're good. So the lawyers make sure of all that. You can trust assure that. Now the next issue comes is I have the bag taking out my property taxes right. from my mortgage. Right. But then why do they want to double up the payments sometimes? The 
sometimes it's, like they're taking double. Yeah. Sometimes it's easier for people to budget their property tax payments, especially if your property taxes per year are four or $5,000, to roll it into your mortgage payment. Mm -hmm. But from the perspective of paying property taxes when you're buying or selling a house, the bank paying your taxes makes it more complicated for us because we can't control when that payment comes out of your account okay so let's let's do the property taxes right. are three thousand six hundred fifty dollars okay that's a hundred dollars a day no no ten dollars a day yeah, that's ten dollars a day, day. <laughs> see i'm, not the, I'm yeah. not the lawyer i just trust whatever you do and i, <laughs> yeah. I sign it so it's ten dollars a day right so i buy the house july 30th right the bank has said they're going to take out uh, three hundred dollars, thirty dollars, three hundred dollars a month. Okay, to cover your property. Taxes. Cover my property taxes. Yeah. So I bought it July thirtieth. It's now December first. Right. 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 Sure. Six months down the road. Paid six months worth. Yeah. And I'm trying to keep it straight too. Now March, I cut like January. I paid my three hundred. February yeah. paid my three hundred. March. Right. I get a bill. Showing the whole thing is owed. Yeah. The whole thing, I still owe 3650 And there's not a year that goes by. And I'm the same as you. I'm yeah. Assuming, that I get a rate call. What's going on? I got I paid. I paid my yeah. taxes. You didn't charge me your tax. Like, right. So the bank, every time that, if your mortgage payment has property tax payments rolled into it, the bank is kind of holding that money aside to pay your taxes. So your bill may come out and say that you're owing your taxes, right? Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that the bank has run off with your money and that they're not going to pay the property taxes. It just means necessarily that they might not have paid it yet because the bank didn't know how much your taxes were going to be. So that's another reason that sometimes the bank paying your property taxes can be confusing is that the bank is trying to guess what your property taxes are going to be next year, right? Because they're collecting in advance of the property tax bill coming out. That's my next issue. Am I right. cutting you off? No, that's fine. Because all of a sudden, now they want to take $600 out. Right. I didn't budget for that for the next right. six months. Or they'll say, we budgeted too high, and actually you have a credit, let's say, of um, $600. Yeah, but they don't really give that back to you. They just hold it. They keep rolling it over as long as you own the house for the next year. So am I right to assess the bank is trying to get a year ahead on your property taxes? They're trying to get ahead as... As they can, basically, yeah. yeah. So it feels good to have your mortgage payments being taken care of by the bank, right. but they're trying to get ahead to have extra money. Right. They're trying to make sure that the bill doesn't come out and they haven't gotten what they have need to yeah. pay the property tax bill from you. Um, so if you buy um, in October, which is fairly close to the end of the year, yeah. They're going to divide the number, uh, the total property tax number can only be divided in the months left of the year, right? Okay. So if it's rolled into your mortgage payment, it's going to be higher because to get ahead for the next year, they've only got two months left of the year to collect that, right? So yeah. um, sometimes it's not as attractive as an option for people that are buying to do that at that time of year because... You know, it doesn't seem like you're budgeting really. No, it just seems like you're like dividing insane. the number in half or in yeah. three. Um, so they think, well, maybe I'll just do it myself. And the good thing though about that is, if you ever go to sell, you get a credit back. Right. So it's like a little savings yeah, account. Yeah, it's not bank. right. It's not that anyone's running away with your money or that you're giving yeah. it away. You're just it's letting just, the it's bank. It's not in your bank account anymore, essentially. So if a rainy day comes, you can. Be confident that your property taxes are going to be paid, but you, <laughs> but don't, you, have right. you don't have that money. Right. You don't have that. You can't buy bacon. No, you don't have that money for yourself. So. so, okay. So now we've covered that no matter what day you buy the house, you're only paying by the day. You're not right. being overcharged, no matter what the paperwork looks like. No. You're not. So you're only paying for the days you lived in, lived in or owned the or house. Owned house or yeah. owned the house. Uh, the bank can make it more complicated trying to get ahead. So it could right. it could have cost you, not cost you, but they're going to take out more money to get ahead. Just to be safe. Not yeah. a great option. Sometimes good. What's yeah. a better option? Tell me what I should well, do. Well, now the province, you can actually apply to, de they'll divide your property tax payments for you in 12 and just take it right out of your account. So uh, 
it's basically the same as the bank doing it, except it doesn't happen in advance. So it kind of makes it easier from that standpoint. If you sell halfway through the year and you're on the province's equalized billing plan, um, at any given point, you're maybe only one month ahead of your payments, depending on what time of the month your property closes. Um, and that way, your property tax bill has already come out. So they know the exact number that you're going to owe for that year. There's no questions um, about what your payment per month would be. They just divide whatever the number is yeah, into how many months that are left in the year to pay, and they just take that out of your account. So. And when the bill comes out, it doesn't look like you haven't paid a dime. Right, exactly. Because have people get, have you got calls? You have to get calls. All I get calls. All the time, yeah, all the time. How many times do you try to explain it on the phone? Because it's oh. so confusing. It is really confused. And even for people that buy houses all the time, like that that's their business. It doesn't, it is confusing. And, and I think what is also confusing for people is that they forget that property taxes don't end. So even though you feel like I've been making payments forever and then a new bill comes in, you're like, I've paid my tax. Mm, no. Well, you haven't for the next year and that's what that bill is about. So sometimes that can be confusing to... It's not a one time. Yeah, it's not, you don't just pay them for one year and then they're gone. If you own a property, you're going to pay property taxes until you stop owning the property. Yeah. So the payments never stop. The government wants that money every month. So where does the tax money go? What is it used for? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get into that. Yeah. Uh, street schools, <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever. garbage pickup. That's not, but uh, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having and me. And I want to have you on again. And you know what I want to talk about? What? What happens on the day of the closing. Okay. How we take a registration from one person to another right. person. How it all happens. Okay. How the finances, how the buyer gets the money. Like how, okay. how it all step by step happens. Will you do that? Yeah, sure. Because that's another confusing day yeah, for people. it is. And who deals with what? Who's in charge? The bank? The lawyer? Me? Yeah. Done. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for coming on. If you have any yeah. questions about this, don't call me. Call Lauren. We're going to flash your number on the screen. What's your cell number? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking, but thank you. Oh, we got to thank uh, RW and Co, our sponsors, oh, yeah. Liberty Utilities, Schluter Systems. Do you know what Schluter Systems are? Yeah, for showers. And oh, they stuff. do. They make yeah. amazing showers. Yeah. Good for you. I there love you it. Go. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks, Lauren. Thanks, Rob. I'm still going to ask you 100 times how it works. I know. And it still won't be clear, but. Maybe you can re-listen to the podcast and answer one question. So. I, I don't listen to myself. No. I can't do it. I couldn't either. So. Listen to you, that is. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> See you again soon. See ya.